Hello, hello, hello. My name is Zeep. You're watching Zeep Nation, and today we're playing Dredge. It's a uh, spooky, cozy game. It's about fishing. It's cool. Tablus, wandering angler wanted. That's not good. Oh. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah oh well. I'm glad to see your, our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged. But I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. All right, okay. Undock. Forward with W. S to reverse. AD to turn. Hmm. Just camera, yep. Just height. All right. You've moved to a fishing spot. Press F to start fishing. Start. Oh, I see. That's a fun mechanic. And I have limited inventory space. Of course I do. That's not too bad. Look at me go. Fishing's easy. Ooh, got a trophy cut. Trophy, trophy catch. Hmm, cool. Depleted. Okay. So I need to go to a new fishing spot. Ooh, I see a shiny though. Why so shiny? This is just a really pretty game, though. Collect. Added a cabin. <laughs> I like that. No, I'm gonna use that so often. Oh. Morning on the second day of the honeymoon. And our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands. Oh. Um. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of the Great Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows. So I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the, the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Oof. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain, Ocean's Riches. 
was a good name. Interesting. I think he was... He has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see in the basket half hidden stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. He probably doesn't like it when you are deceitful. I mean, if it brings bad luck, you're purposely... Like, ruining, uh... What he might perceive as bad, uh, as good luck. Words. You know what I mean. You're smart. Um... Do I have an inventory? Or was... Or, that was a message in the bottle that I picked up. Cool. Well, if the if the shallows... Time only advances when you're... Moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Okay, so when I stop... Time stops. I, I I don't know if anyone told the rain that. I think it's uh I think the rain's gonna do whatever the rain wants to do. That's a new fish. That's a cod. Ooh, it's a new shape too. It's cod shaped. Oh. Oh there's lightning. Of course there's lightning. We're on the ocean. Are those fish? Not big enough school, I suppose. That's this thing. That just looks like coral, though. I'll come back to it. Maybe I should uh, head back to shore. Make my way around this way. Yeah, yeah, let's let's stay away from big scary waves for right now. It seems like a tomorrow thing for sure. But this, I can I can do this. You don't have the right equipment. Yep. Say less. What about you? Oh. Cool. Uh, you go right uh, there. What does that mean at the very top there? Night's coming. Do you have a nice size oil barge over there though? Disturbed waters? Is that good? Alright, well, we're... Just going for it then, that's okay. Oh. What is that? Collect your lights by holding E, then toggle them with... Of course. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleep will reduce it. Oh, I have panic. I see. Wonderful. Alright. Yeah, um, I'll, I guess I'll go back. Let's not do a panic. Oh, the day sure does, uh, creep up on ya. Do I just go here? Do I dock? Oop, uh. Neat. If you step onto the dock at Great Morrow, Great Marrow, the mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I am more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may have... You may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. Okay. So, to recap, 
You'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and, in return, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Yeah, where do I sell the fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Oh, that's handy. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Yep. Hello, sir. Uh, you, en you enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. A familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the cast, the downcast man behind the counter. They're the new fishermen, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What? He. It takes a certain type of person to last out there. It's now a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. More species are just worth more too. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you've got. Yeah. Seven bucks. Alright. Sell his F. Cool. Got almost seven. Ooh, got eight fifty. Oh, squid are 15 bucks? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Cod are good too. Neat. Wait, do I have more than one storage? What's this now? The mater is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Research part. A curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Okay. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned that she might be able to make some modifications to her ship. You should pay her a visit. Alright. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Oh, but she been introductions. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements on your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, as well as the water line, are splintered and scathed. Take a look around, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay. Catch is shallow. What do I have now? Coastal? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I could get another engine. I only have a hundred bucks, though. I mean, my current engine seems better than what she's selling, but then I would have two engines, and two is better than one. Could use a light though. I can't afford those ones. 
I mean, cracked bulb would be better than nothing. And currently, I'm running nothing. Uh, how long does this take to install? I didn't really read that. Well, one hour. Okay. That seems... Yeah, that's all. Oh. 30 bucks remaining? That's not... That's not bad. Okay. I do have an encyclopedia... Volcanic, you say? Devil's Spine? Okay, well... Alright. That's fine. Investigation at a dock. Okay. You know, let me, uh, let me rest. Yeah. Oh, there we go. What am I looking at? Use parts to research new equipment. Research equipment will appear for sale in shops. Oh. I see. Yeah, let's do flexible fishing pole. Oh, could have done engines. Oh, uh, whoops. That's fine. That's what I want. That was uh, totally on purpose. What can I do for you? I should go back to fishing. Yeah, I, I have no money I spent on stuff. Oh, look at that. I got a little light now. Right? Yeah? Right? Perhaps? I like my horn better. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so it's, it's raining. That seems to be good for fish, right? Probably. A floating buoy serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Okay. I got yeah, that's good to know. I can't do these guys yet, can I? Nope. I need a new part for that one. Um hmm. I'll go right here. I don't seem to need a whole lot more money pay off my bills. It's just it's just 30 bucks. Look at me go though. Mission Pro, you'd think I was made to do this. Can I not double tap? Just overfish the spot just a little bit more. Perfect. You know, it's not too bad in the shallow. Or, uh, coastal. We're not even in shallow yet, are we? Shapes. I'm not good with shapes. No, that won't do. Eh. Seems like a future problem to have.
think it's the future now. I'll just go back to the coast. Or the dock. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Oh. Yeah, you can actually see the sunset. Wow, yeah, that's pretty quick. I, mean, I guess my my boat's full, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, that's a full day. And we just get to shore. Don't go crazy. We've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fill it, I'll pay you above normal price. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water. Uh, fish in order to catch those. The ship right would be able to sort that for you. I thought that fly right there was uh, in real life for a second there, and I got really uh, concerned. Just sell all the fish. Look at that, I got 100 again. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to the manor and just pay this off. I'd like to pay off some of my debt. All of it. Yeah. Now, what else can I do for you? Don't really care about that right now. I think we should be good. Do you have some money? Can I buy parts from you or do you only do upgrades? I think she only does upgrades. Okay, I can... The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood. With a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a con... A consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger service. You might have something to talk about soon. Keep up with the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make a significant improvement to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attached points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for those projects. Lumber, metal straps, that sort of thing. How do I get those? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you can find a way to avoid them. Uh, materials assigned towards upgrades uh, here will be stored. You don't worry if you only have half of what you need. Oh, okay. Modify two cargo spaces and also holds rods. Oh. Oh, okay. Upgrade your vessel to a tier 2 hull and adds five new cargo spaces. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Neat. Get some Z's. Oh, I can wake up at night, I suppose. A hunchwoman approaches from the steps of the lighthouse. She's, she stops some distance away that looks at you and with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that, that leads to the light. Okay. Well, it's almost day, so I think we should head out now. Get a jump start on the day. Early bird catches fish. That's what they say. Don't look it up. Yeah, let's let's hit the spot quick and then go to that city right across the way. What? 
with my fish. Oh. That was strange. Okay. Neat. So I absolutely want the yellow marks. Let me go. I do want to check out that oil rig some sometime soon, though. There's another little town over there as well. Is the storage universal? I think it might be pursuits. Oh, right, right. Trader, what you got? You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silvery spectacles. Hello, is that? No. Ah, uh, I don't believe we've met before. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you have, you happen to have. Have you got anything nice that with you today, perhaps? Got a prized fish. I don't think he wants that, though. Okay, cool. I'll depart. There's that city over there. I suppose I can go over there. It's still pretty early in the day. Just have to remember that uh, the lighthouse, lighthouse is good. We, that's where home is, I think. That's a shark. I don't have that. Cool. A uh, shipwrecker right there. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Looks like a dock. Workshop. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. You find some horrifying creations amongst the detritus. The bony blades of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsing heart. It beats in time with your own. Alright, yeah. Let's uh put that bad boy. Um Hold up. Uh just store that. Sign of Rune. A symbol of the deep is carved into the small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. W yeah, um, I got. Yeah, I'll take that. That's uh, wonderful. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Brune Mansion. The door is locked. Okay. Oh, oh, too close. Too close. I found some awful stuff. I love it. Ooh. Message in a bottle. You know, for how fast the day seems to move, my boat sure is slow. That's okay, though. We're not in a rush. It's a cozy game, anyway. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of the Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not 
penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is some of the concern. But we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so superstitious. Maybe you should mention the keychain that you still have. There's another one. Oh, it's getting late though. I hope that's not his boat. Dredge. Oh, I don't, I can't, I can't do that. The name of the game and I can't even do it yet. Oh, oh, it's getting dark. Are my lights on? Oh, I hate that. Wait, no, it's dark. Um. This is interesting. I can find loot that way. Um. What are those? There's buoys over. Oh, rock. Oh, another rock. Oop, excuse me. Oop. You know, at least that, uh, the oil rig is pretty easy to see. Let's catch some of these just since I'm here. I don't want to waste a day, right? Yep. Oh, I got real foggy. Real foggy real quick. There are noises out there. In the swamp. The ocean. The vast. Ocean scary. Oh, the mayor wants something. Uh, let me uh, sell everything first, though. Doop a doop a doop. Okay, you know that's a pretty decent haul. Take it. Mayor, what you want? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards the Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Sure. Right there? Cool. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Why is it wet? The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Okay. Awesome. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Yep, uh, let me, let me sleep on that, though. Cool. Let's go. Wait, where are we going? You say east? Weast? Little package to the dock worker at Little Marrow. Which is to the east. You got it. I'm just a courier. That's all I'm... Good for... Is it right there? It must be right there. Yeah, look at that sun move, though. So quick. I wonder what all you can do in this game. I know it's spooky. It's, uh, Lovecraftian horror. Probably should say those kind of things in the intro, but I forget. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper to peek inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. 
I'm going to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. I'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from the back of his pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Alright, cool. I'm gonna get more fish. Nope. Not there. These ones? Yeah. Hey, we're doing pretty good on time again, too. Can I get that, or do I need to dredge to get that? I probably need a dredge, right? Which I believe would be an upgraded fishing pole. Yeah. I should have a decent amount of money now. So, I think we're going to do a fishing pole upgrade as soon as we can. Can't seem to double tap though. Real bummer. We can we can do two more. Oh, we're out. Suppose that's fine too. Can't do th that must be like eel or something, right? Seems to be pretty good timing as well. What are those northern lights are? Should go check that out soon. Don't overcommit yourself, especially when that sun starts going down. Better come back with a small catch than to not come back at all. You're right. Nope, that would be bad. Sounds like a real bad day. Cool. And now I probably want to do a ship right. Lightweight rods suited to catch fish that live in the shallows. A small spool makes the limited reel speed, however. Strengthened lines can catch larger and deeper fish. What a dredge. Maybe I need parts for that? How do I even get parts if I don't know? Hmm. I'm not sure how I do that. Sustainable fishing. Am I reading this? Wait, I'm confuzzled. Reading. Oh, interesting. So I... I'm reading it right now. Oh, okay. I'll rest. Maybe I just read that, like, while I'm fishing? Okay, let's stop at this spot right here. 3%, okay. So it's just a time-based thing then. That's not very sustainable. Okay, so 
It seems like I read while time passes, no matter what I'm doing. Cool, cool. Oh, can't do that either. Shallow. Well, hold up. I could probably buy the shallow fishing upgrade right now. Yeah, let's just go back and do that. Because if I can get a different kind of fish, that's progression either way. Hey, you. I think I want that one. Okay, is that just done? It must be. Cool. Sure does storm a lot here. Wonderful. Oh, it's a flounder. Neat. Oh, fuck. Trophy cot. Cyclopean flounder. A sprawling jelly... Jellied mass spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg. Hmm. Nature. Neat. Isn't nature naturey? And then I have no more space. So I go back now. You think he's gonna buy a grotesque flounder? He might. Never know. It's nearing nighttime anyway, so I guess now is a pretty decent time to sleep as well. Have you got any fish for that order? Yes, I do. I have a flounder. Just leave, leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. In fact, I have a prize flounder for you. Yeah. Wait. I mean, he's going to pay me extra anyway, right? Pay me extra on the good one. I found this book out back. Could be useful for you. Rods, reels, and rigs. Neat. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck on the cover. Lovely. 20 bucks each? Okay, okay. Not bad. I'll take it. I mean, it's not like that much better or anything, right? Because, like, it takes up four spaces. That... The other fish only took up two, and it was worth ten. It's about comparable. Fisherman! Have you run into a photo photographer on your travels? Uh, she docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned that she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Okay. But fish, though. There be fish in these waters. I need an eel. I desperately need an eel. What are you? You look like eel. Disturbed water, okay. Oh, that's new. Okay. 
I assume that's normal. I don't know anything about eels. Oh, lovely. Oh, we have a barbed eel. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. Lovely. Nature sure is beautiful. Oh, they're having a little party over here. Look at that. Confetti. Um... Oceanic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't fuck with the ocean yet. Seems like a future problem. I do need another motor. I think I'm far too slow right now. Yeah, I think if I can if I can afford another motor, I think I'll just buy one. Like at this point I don't really care if it's not the best. I mean any bit of speed might just be worth it at this point. Yeah, so you got something for the order. Here, it's she's beautiful. Done. Alright, come back when you have everything. Uh wait, no, I that was that was it. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just looking from the surface. Wonderful. Oh, those are worth 20 as well. Uh, more like 15 on average. Okay. I mean, could be worse. Certainly could be worse. Okay. All right. I mean, another motor is just a hundred. This is ten knots. That's also ten knot knots. That's fourteen. I'd still be moving almost twice as fast. I'm okay with that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's take her for a spin. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, yeah. No, I can get behind that. Look at me go. Off to go catch more horrors of the deep. Do da, do da. Oh, I do have a thing, don't I? Uh, where am I going? I just. This is done. I. I did that. That should be cool now, right? Should take the fish of the fishmonger. Hmm. Caught a strange looking fish, never seen anything like it in all my years. It died as soon as it was pulled from the water, but its scales are still pulsing with a strange rhythm. Don't want to handle it anymore. Have a headache and ears are ringing slightly. Maybe the fishmonger at Great Marrow will know more. Lovely. I thought I had another quest. To go meet someone. Did I not? Well... 
I think it was south. For the photographer. Perhaps it's this island right here. Or I have to go, like, way out. Um, and in that case, no idea where I have to go. Well, we'll stop here first. This, this feels, uh, potentially right. Doors locked. Okay. Hmm. So it's not there. Nothing updated on that end. Maybe it's this. I don't see anywhere to dock over here. Yeah, maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's this place. Oh, reading complete. So, I guess I got a new book. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'll take it. Oh, I don't have any way to dredge up this stuff, though. So I'm not really sure what to do here. Yeah. Yeah, find something for that. Oh, there are weird noises behind me. Yep, I'm just gonna forget I saw anything here and just head back. It's probably for the best. I can't really fish any of these spots either, unfortunately. Because this is, uh... Mostly shallow sea. Wait, let me just uh, double check. Mr. Boy, what was that? Oh! Neat. Oh, oh it's, it's, getting, it's getting dark. I should probably start a head back soon. Let me get one of these first. Oh, lovely. Oh, good. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes. Like nothing you've ever seen before. Lovely. I hate it. <laughs> oh, there's a red thing right there. I want that. Oh, I'll have to come back for that later. Oh, yeah, I'm going a little bit crazy now. Okay, right back here. I think no one seems to sleep in this town. That might be a little obnoxious if I have to base everything on other people's time schedules as well. You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, now, this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of the, its stomach, and a small shape can be seen un, uh, against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From his stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never been that... I've never seen that before in my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. 
so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. One beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish, patterned with a delicate crimson thread. Lovely. Let's go ahead and storage. Yep. The man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle, and out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be want I'll be waiting. Okay. What about uh what about that thing? Okay, wait. That's this. I I did this. I wonder if it got bugged because I gave him the wrong fish. I gave him grotesque fish and said, Oh, if I just ruined that quest, I'm not sure, uh... I'm not sure if I can continue. That might be fun. Okay. Um, let's, let's get some Z's. So go about here and cut south. Blackstone Isle, right there, cool. So then that's this place right here, yes. I feel like I've been here a couple times yet. I do want more motors yet. A whole bunch, right? Like 90% motors, 10% boat. There we go. You don't have the handkerchief with you. The man seemed interested in it. You should probably bring it to the meeting. Right, right, right. So, uh. Boom. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Arts and artifacts. Treasure and truths. And curious that occupy... And curious that occupy the peripheral of desire. Periphery? You have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. The patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, the handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. The proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in the dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. Okay. This seems like a bad idea, but I love it. You need not to give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make necessary alterations. What do you say? Yeah. Free stuff? Yeah, please. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would enc encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. I'm thinking if... Wait, let me check my... I don't seem to have a dredge now, but that's okay. That quest wasn't completed, so if if those two fish that I turned in and that got bugged have artifacts in it, I think I'm just SOL. 
Like, I think I would just have to, like, restart the game and go back to that point. And I'm kind of hoping that's not the case. Let's see, do we have any, like, eels? I can't do this anyway, no. Because if I can find some eels, maybe I can, like, go back and be like, Oh, I have some stuff for the quest here. Right here. No, that's a dredge spot. Well, I'm here anyway. Let's see. I see. Okay. This is new. I like that. Ooh, wood. What was that? I saw a shiny. What are you? The light lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the uh, perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. Okay, that's, um... That's great. Uh, neat. Get a few more bucks before we head in. You know, fishing is so easy, you know, everyone should really be doing this for a, work, for a living, you know. Easy, easy money. <laughs> I know that's not true. Please don't, uh, please don't come after me. Oh. Got people. Hmm. Cool, I just have a sell all button. I like that. I can't seem to talk to him about the other fish. That's bothersome. What is it? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of a greater marrow that is currently carries, uh, where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from the path of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Okay, cool. Can I get a better light? I have a decent amount of money. Oh, um... Did that do it? Neat. And then, talk to the builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dock side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's peaceful, yeah, so far. There's gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Go backwards is a mistake, don't you think? should always keep moving forward, moving along. Uh, I can't go back, yeah. She's gazing out at sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find some materials, maybe I can help you, uh, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, the Steel Point, just north, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'll be welcome to visit too. Just stack up a steel point when you have anything. 
I'll pay you when the job's done. Okay, cool. Seems fair enough. Ooh, that's a better light. It's a lot better, actually. Do I scare fish? Wait, does that actually scare the fishies? I don't think they care. Um, don't really need those. I want to try and see if I can find those eels again. Because if I mess that up for myself, that's, uh... That might be bad. I might have to do something better there. I'm actually not seeing any... Oh, right here. These guys, right? Yeah, something like that. Hmm. I see an issue here. There we go. Oh, lovely. Love it. Baggy skin perforated with countless cavities. A singular shapeless mass spreads underneath. You know, just a normal fish. That's how fish be sometimes. Does the... I think the sun probably moved at the same speed since I got those boat upgrades. I can't really tell right now though. Mr. Fishmonger. Yes, I do have fish for that order. Yes. Uh, and it's not this fish. Uh, in fact, I want to store that one and that one. Don't ever look at that again. Uh, fish is right there. Yeah. Sells for quite a bit. Cool. Um. Neat. I didn't get any special thing for that though. Let's put that as storage. Wonderful. Still got time. Cool. So I unbugged that. Thankfully. Um, now I actually just need to catch an eel. Speaking of which, you look like eel. Well, I guess there's literally only one, so I guess that makes it a little bit simpler. Is there anything to dredge super close by? I don't really think so, unfortunately. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to do some more dredging. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to, right? Because I need those resources for that woman's uh, house. I do, I have an eel, yeah. Look at that. The fishmonger wraps with the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. You should be pleased with this. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squids these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Do I? Okay. Do I go back out? I do need the squid. Can't really do anything at the dry 
docks. I don't really think I can do much of the ship right either. Okay, let's unlock. Let's go get some squid real quick. So I'm sure we can find some like right here. Squid. Fish? No fish. Those are fish. Oh, there's another boat out there. Hmm. Why is he out so late? From the fog. Okay. Good seeing ya. so eerie. Lots of bubbly noises though. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, wait, where are, uh... Don't remember rocks right there. Yes, I do have stuff for that order. Black grouper. Two squid. Look at you. Boom. I don't have a black grouper though. Shallow. Okay. And then... I'll probably just sell the rest. Yeah. Easy peasy. 580 buckaroons. Okay, so... If you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book on the house. Correct engine operation added to the cabin. Yeah, I like that. Can I add another engine spot to my boat? If, what do I need for that? I need parts, right? Yeah, let me go get some wooden scrap. Let me, uh, let me rest first, though. There we go. I do love the horn. <laughs> okay, wait, what? Oh, I completed that book. Yeah, I'll read that one. Um... What do they want? Was it a flounder? I really should pay more attention to this game. Um, Black grouper. Wait, did that say where I can find it by chance? They only bite at night. Okay, so... It's a tomorrow thing anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go dredging. Oh, got some right here. And those are fish. Got 
got some wood. Got some more wood. Cool, fully dredged. And there was a shipwreck uh, just out yonder that I saw. But couldn't really do anything about it earlier. It don't have a whole lot of inventory space though. So I'm kind of wondering how we should be managing our time. Okay, so what is this? Is that... That looks like metal, so let's see what we actually get. This is, this is new. Worn gold ring. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like the image for the dredge actually does matter. So this looks like potentially wood? That looks like wood. Shapes in the depth. That might be wood. Bolt of cloth, okay. I mean, I guess I'll get a couple of those, right? Oop, oop, oop. Didn't mean to do that. Wow, that took a long time. It's already nighttime already. Wait, it's a party over here. I want some party fish. Lovely. Host eel. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind the distended ribcage. The rest of the fish is withering and drained. Lovely. Ooh, ooh. What was that? What was that? Should I be afraid of that? Wait. Wait. There's something not right about that boat. There's something not right about that boat. Oh, that boat's a fast one. that boat yeah that's a that's an angler fish oh let me uh, back up quick okay you better run wasn't afraid of him anyway. Punk. Yikes. Um. Yeah. Lovely. We love that. If ever hunting for special species, check your encyclopedia. Cool. We'll do. No, nothing special from that one. It's fine. I'll put those in storage. Yeah. I don't have any metal yet. I I set out on a goal and I haven't done it yet. Because everything takes so long in this game. I mean, for sure I need better upgraded parts. Why are you shimmering? More party fish? I'll go catch a party fish. Lovely. Kill plates dotted with eyeballs suspiciously but scanning frantically. 
All eyes see right through you. All right. You know, okay, so... That fisherman cut open the first weird fish. And I was like, oh, look at this. I got a piece of shipwreck. But then <clears throat> he hasn't been able to, like, give me any other pieces of shipwreck. So maybe I take those special fish to this guy. Perhaps. Hey, buddy. What is it? Okay, never mind. I don't care anyway. Keep on doing that. Um... Yeah, let's just go straight to the, the wreck. Correct engine operation. Cool. Wait. Um, tab. Engines provide 5% more movement speed than listed. Okay. Yeah, no, that's good. I like that. I'll take 5%. Hopefully I can dredge up this, uh, this ship over here, uh, and still have, like, inventory space. Yeah, that would be nice. Here's the hoping, I suppose. Oh, is this just more wood? I probably didn't need to do this one. I mean, I'll take it, it's here. That looks like metal? No, that looks like metal. Yeah, I want metal. Okay, scrap is big. I'll take it. true weakness. I can do one more wood, honestly. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's real dark. Yeah, let's head back. Like, immediately. How does that keep on happening to me? What was that? Okay, never mind. Stay away from the whisper smoke. Oh. 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 That can't be good. That can't be good. I think we're the same speed. Oh, but if I hit a rock, I'm done for. Oh, wait. No, that's not good. That's not good. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that's the worst. Uh, hate that. Hate all of that. Oh. Number lost. Lame. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is as important part of being productive. You're right, you're right. Uh, I got a fish for you, sir. Yeah. You like fish? Yeah, let's do a repair. Um, enter repair mode. Fix damage and restore durability. Repair. R. Oh! I had one less spot. I see. Okay. Neat. That's fun. I like that. Good mechanic.
Okay, I think I want more motor. Purchase for a hundred, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Can I do that again? No. I can't do that one until I get a new hull. Gotcha, gotcha. So do I have to do one of the top ones to then unlock that branch? Is that what it's telling me here? Plus four net space. I suppose I could do that, yeah. So let's do boom. Rotate. Cool. And a wood. 125. I can't do that. I need I need the full upgrade. Um I don't have enough wood for that, unfortunately. Let's put that in storage. Okay. No, that's good. Um, I think rest. I'm a little bit crazy. I'm a little bit crazy. A little cuckoo. And then let's go back to that shipwreck because we had some good stuff. It took a while, but we got good stuff there. I think we should just keep on going back there if we can. In the meantime, though, we do need other easy loot if we can come across it. Ideally, somewhere near a, um, a dock so we can just like throw all of our stuff into a storage container and then move on. There's something of interest over here, though. Some wind party stuff going on. Is it still there or did it disappear? Seems to be a sparkly. A pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. Interesting. What do we have here? Shipwreck? I don't recognize that shape. Ornate key. That's a really big key. An abandoned large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Lovely. Looks like we got some party fish going on over here, too. Neat. Where's that? Oh, oh, right over there. Okay. I think I see something else over there to the left. Do 12 o'clock. That might just be a tree, though. Can't really tell. I'm not sure what that one is right there at 12 o'clock as well. Hopefully the waves don't get too bad. I'm, I haven't really been out this far yet when it, when it rains. Silver trinket, all right. Do need some more wood for sure. I could do I could do one more. Can I rearrange this? In any any way that would really benefit me here hmm 
want that there. No, I can't. I'm so bad at Jenga. Like, there's probably a really easy solution because I was thinking about getting nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's gonna get worse before it gets worse. Ah, uh, no, that's bad. All damage, weighted line disappeared. Oh, you're just gone. You, you just made a snack of my boat and then you just left me. How rude. Oh wait, there's evil stuff still? Yeah, let's just get back to shore. Let's not worry about that too much here. Uh, there are fish that only appear at night that I also need to catch yet. Yeah. I probably have room for whatever this is. Oh. Equipment broken, fishing effectiveness reduced. Black grouper. I don't think I have any room for you. What if... What if... Hold up. You move down there. You... Hold your horses. Uh, you go up there. I need four. Oh, this damaged. Okay. Well, that makes it more difficult, doesn't it? Wait, I can rotate stuff, can't I? Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Boom. Boom. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. I should have enough to turn in that quest, though. Wonderful. Two fish with uh, one, uh, one rod. That's a phrase. Don't look it up. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch troubled. Is the fog starting to get to you? Completely normal around here. And nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be right as rain by morning. Ah, uh, yes, I do have fish for that order. And got the black grouper. Cool. I don't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I've been... I've got one for you here. In fact, it's a bit banged up. But you could get it fixed at the... Shipwright. Okay. Yeah, it goes right there now. Ability unlock crab pot. Deploy crab pot. Don't forget where you put it. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it at sea anywhere. Then come back after a day or two to check in on it. Okay. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Neat. You don't you don't want that, do you? No. Oh. Interesting. Last for three days. Last for two days. Oh. I'm joining out. Okay, so first of all, um, repair all, just 67 bucks. That's not too bad. Easy peasy. And then I do have wood on me, so let's go to the dry dock. Let's do another light. Got wood. More wood. And I think I have, yep, I do have that stuff. Boom. And then I don't have... Don't have anything else for that upgrade, unfortunately. Rest quick. Um, I suppose... This can be sold... With a neighbor. With a neighboring town. So, let's just put that in storage for now. Um, I think that's probably fine. 
Yeah, let's figure out the crab pot. See if we can get anything out of that. Select the crab pot ability with E and deploy one with right click. They catch things over time, but need repairing every so often. Okay. So this feels like a place that I come to pretty often. Oh, and it's a little buoy. That's nice. Nothing equipped. Right. Should go back to the horn. Yeah, I never really thought about Creepy Cozy as a, uh, a vibe. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Um, you enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, ha you have something, don't you? Show me. Oh, the key. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than anticipated, much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills, fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Ability unlocked. Haste. Otherworldly speed at a price. Now go. We have more relics to uncover. My... Intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? I'm good. No questions asked. You do you, dude. Haste added speed to your engines but increases panic and engine heat. Oh, room. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, I, I can get behind that. Southeast, you say? This seems like southeast. Is it right there? You know, it's so peaceful during the day. <laughs> oh, a buoy. Buoys are good. Buoys mean safety. Fucking skews you? Didn't love that. Oh, Marlin. Never mind. Can't get that anyway. Didn't want it. Okay, so we seem to have a whole new area over here now. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one has a huge breach on the side. You're tied up along the old wreck. Look at the cabin. You're in the cabin. Cupboards and drawers. The cupboards have been completely and methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. They're in the cabin. Uh, try to find a loose floorboard. There aren't any floorboards left. Check the overhead electrical equipment. The equipment is still is all still there, though surely exposed to the elements is fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. Uh, check out the cargo. 
You poke around the cargo after a few items remain not yet lost to sea. Okay. I'll take that. And... Weak Velvengen. Not really sure what that do. Oh. To storage. Yeah. And I stored that too. Neat. Leave. I don't know where that storage is hiding. Hmm. I'll be fine. Alright, I'm just- I know that there's a shiny thing right there, I'm just gonna go straight to the town. That seems more important, right? And plus, it's getting kinda late. I'm hoping that these buoys can protect me for a little longer. Not really sure. Hopefully I can rest at one of these docks as well. Okay, I'll, I'll do a party fish. Give me a second. This is a new one. Okay. Stonefish. Can I, can I sleep here? I must be able to. I think I can sleep anywhere that I dock. Yeah. Oh, the people. What is it? Uh, do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say you're, they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Sure. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you. You'll be decently comp compensated. Anything else? Where can I catch them? Ah, yes. They can be tricky to find. I'm told that they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. Imagine they're, they've been fished out around the edges. So, you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention they only come out at night? Of course they do. Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Okay. Where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know any... Odd characters? Have you heard of the tale of... Magran? Mar... Magran? He's an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer just at sea trying to find them. Magran, it seems, wasn't cut up for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. People started calling him Magran the Fisherman. One day, the town awoke and found all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed at, in the night. The old Magran was nowhere to be found, nor has he been since. Uh, many years ago, the cliffs used to have uh, be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliff. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Okay, neat. Uh, both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure hordes left abandoned and unclaimed for, to this day. I dare say 
they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. I think I'm good. Retired whaler, you say? Are there shipwrecks around here? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother dished us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now. The devil. Some time ago, just after the last whale was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packing up the hurry and away north as fast as they could. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but they couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear from them since. Ingfell used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in our carcass, and then the rest of the town would be get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. That's sad. Ooh, message in a bottle. I do have a couple to read, don't I? Vessel, SY Grand Prize, owner, Mr. Michael Schult, Port Gill Cliffs, Oaken Music Box, purchased from the antiqu Antiquarian at Lil Marrow for a bargain price, previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck, has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable condition, has not been opened for fear of damage the mechanism, pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mask. Carved wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits, traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12 piece tea set, bone china, six, uh, six cups and six saucer, uh, acquired from an Eastern dealer, do not use. Jar of earth, a jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. Huh. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken, fog core, five, rise, he knows. Yep, naturally. Excuse you? Are you death or are you... Oh. Oh, you're gone. Okay. Nothing to examine there. I don't know what that is. I like this one. That one's fun. Okay, I'll take research parts. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I want all of those, actually. If I can just keep on getting those, that'll be so awesome. That's a nice... I want that boat. Can I trade boats? Ah. Traveling merchant. Oh, hey there. You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it? Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Haha. <laughs> yep. I'm a traveler and a merchant. And rolled into one. Uh, if you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to pursue and stock it and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see when you're ready to trade. Yeah. On this side of the pontoon, I'll buy any fish you want to sell. I also keep a stock of crab pots here for sale. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of about what I was expecting, I suppose.
Say, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? Hey guys. You never forget anything. Anyway, she said that she's set, setting up on a small island to the south of the Marrows. If you're in the area, maybe you could check on her. Floating dock. You might be used to dry docks on the other ports. But we can make the same upgrades to your boat here on the floating dock. Check it out. Oh. Yes, I like this. I like this very much. Um, let's actually put this stuff into storage. Just in case. Um, I don't think I have anything. No, I don't think I can upgrade that. Wait, weak valve engine. Almost 19 knots. Let's get rid of this dude. Did I just destroy it? That's fine. Wait, wait, wait. My storage? There you are, beautiful. Oh. I just added like nine knots. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Okay. Um, floating dock. We can't do that. Can't do that. Um, what about shipyard? Most of this gear is super heavy, so I don't offload it at any uh, pontoon. But come aboard and see the equipment I've got for sale. That's the same, right? Y yeah, that's that's the same. Wait, no, no, wait. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, ten knots. I don't have a trawl line. Hmm. Maybe that should be my next upgrade. To try and get more uh, fishing line spots. So I can just, like, trawl. Allergen Spotlight. Going from 750 lumens to 1800. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Without question. Absolutely. More research parts? Refined metal. Oh. I like this lady. Oh, she's got some good stuff. She's got real good stuff. That was actually pretty huge. Hey again. Come by for my for chat. You need help with anything. Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your info with me? Yeah, sure. Great. The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and colecanth. I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Orfish. Uh, given that the orfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they're living in a reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs would suit them. 
I know that the Gulper Eels live in the deepest depths imaginable. You have some uh, specialist gear to catch one of those. These guys are legitimately scary. They hunt in murky swampy waters use, using the shade of trees to cover. Okay. No idea where the Kalapata might be. But they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? Okay. Hmm. Uh, tell me about Gale Cliffs. Well, there's Ingfell just across the bay, which is a uh, dreary little whaling town. The folks there are always in need of something, which keeps me in business. The residents are always talking about the cliffs, most I'm afraid, frankly. I'm not sure why they stay. Occasionally, I hear deep rumblings from within the rocks. I don't hang around here for long. It, um, you always out here? Yeah, always. I like to keep moving along. The merchants in seasonary. The merchantine, the merchantine, is secondary to the traveling. Really, I'm more of a merchandising traveler. I get to see a lot of places, which is nice. I also get to meet a lot of people, which is only sometimes nice. Hmm. Strange things, plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know. But hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are. And they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm good here. Let me, it's almost night. I'll just sleep. I'll get like a nice, good, uh, nice, good few hours. Yeah. I feel faster. Yeah, I feel significantly faster. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I don't have dynamite for that either. Let's see, is there anyone in this town? An old man emerges emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Uh, doesn't seem safe, are you here? Hey, I've been st stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I have been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I guess I could help. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Well, where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, I dragged debris from the houses down to the wrecked burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know. But if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Sure, I'll look for it. Thank you, but please, be careful. How can I clear the debris? Ah. You probably need some explosive to shift those rocks. My brother in Ingfell used to make explosives for the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff. But with the whale's all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. Yeah, family crest. 
Uh, oh, I shouldn't have skipped past that. I'll reread that. Uh, you're going to keep an eye uh, for my family crest. It was dragged into the tunnels by that creature. Patrols the passageways of the cliff, but its lair is somewhere towards the center by the large waterfall. Mark that area on your map. Perhaps you could look for it there. But if it's too troublesome, don't worry about it. Interesting. You don't have any shipwrecks. Someone that used to live here kept their ship moored at bay at, uh, of the cliff until it was struck by some falling rocks and sunk to the bottom. They were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat decorated with all manner of memorabilia from their travels. At low tide, I can still see where, uh, see what's left of the uh, masthead poking through the waves. What happened to the cliffs? They're being consumed from the core of that hateful serpent. Have you seen it? Nobody believed me, not until it started devouring our foundations, opening up chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the night to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. Tell me more about the creature. It's been burrowing tunnels through the, ca the base of the cliffs. You can see the gigantic holes it leaves just below the surface. As it forces its way out, it often causes rock falls. So if you plan on going in there, keep an ear out. Should it catch sight of you, well, you should be able to outrun it. It's quite slow, provided you can navigate the passageway. That's good to know. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, that's good. I'll take it. Oh, I just want more ship upgrades at this point. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, hello. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. Nope, we're cool. All damage. Peculiar engine disabled. Oh, that's not great. Awesome. Well, instantly regret doing that. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just go back. Wow, I'm so slow. Oh, did they get both my engines? Oh. Yeah, they... They managed to get both of my engines. Oh, that sucks. Let me just slowly hobble back to shore. Yeah, this, this takes quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, I... I hope I have enough money. I just, I think I spent most of my money just now. Oh, that could be bad. That could be real bad. Please, 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 please. Just crash. A little, little love tap. A little kiss. Uh, is it floating? No. Um, shipyard. Yeah, we should fix that. Oh, two out of three damage. Neat. You know... Does she have good price on fish? Tiger mackerel. Cool. Ah, bearded mackerel. The wispy tendrils sprouting from this mouth and flanks continue to writhe long after the fishes stop flailing. Hmm, neat. I love it.
Blackmouth salmon. Let's see, you go right there. I'm so glad I figured out how to rotate fish now. Yeah. It's actually Tetris now. And there are lights around, so I think I'm in a safe-ish area. Oh! I see. Yeah, I know I should have, uh... I should have kind of assumed that would happen. 35. Yeah, I mean, I can't solve it for like a ton, but like it's better than nothing, right? Yeah. Let's fix that. She does sell some pretty cool stuff, though. I want... Wait, you used to have two. Is your stock chain... Your stock changes. Oh. Oh, I like that. Uh, let's sleep. Because, uh, nighttime is awful. I mean, since I'm here, I... I think I should be good just fishing for a little bit, see what I catch. Oh, if I can uh, fish properly, that is. Oh, is that no? It's just fish. I thought I thought the shipyard respawned something. This is new. Wreckfish. That's huge. Neat. I'm not sure I'm gonna carry anymore. Hopefully these guys can actually sell for something though. Maybe a hundred? Hundred fifty? I still buy fish that aren't totally fresh, but if it's completely turned around, I can't pay any for that. Ooh. Fifty-eight each. Nice. Wait, can I buy the part yet? You only put a few more engines on that thing if you want to be as fast as mine. I mean, that's the goal, right? Okay. About that thing. Okay. Uh, floating dock? No. I know these are used for something, and I can't quite remember what. Yeah, it's a future endeavor, I'm sure. I do want to check out these cliffy areas over here, though. I mean, hopefully the, the big bad thing doesn't come and attack me again. Stonefish. Ooh, ooh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Ooh, big bad. Ooh, going crazy. Oh. 
Oh, you're supposed to stop. Hmm. Sir? This doesn't seem fair. This doesn't seem fair. Get. Yeah, I don't... I don't like that in the least, but... I think I'm good on all that. Um, in fact, I think I'm good for the night also. I've been playing for about two hours. That should be enough content for... For today. Let me just catch some Z's quick. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Yeah, well, thank you all so much for watching up to this point. Like, comment, subscribe, all that normal stuff. Um, if you like what I do, I do have a Patreon. It's going to be linked down below. I appreciate everything that you give me. It's completely donation-based. Um, and yeah, it helps me afford awesome games like this in the future. Um, and yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.